Man, that was a excessively long day at work here. Man, got some extra work to do. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh. Oh, goodness. I've been trolled. I have been trolled. Where is that coming from? Basement's still small as ever. Alright. Feeling still good. Cactus is okay. Nice, nice. That's good. I'm in the middle of nowhere. How could I be being trolled? This is ridiculous. Is there anything on the roof? Nope, just my lights. Alright. Mm -mm. This is ridiculous. I can't. Oh, there it is. Look at this. Red command blocks. Command blocks and redstone. That was banned years ago. Yeah, I'm the only one on the server. H how did I get trolled? This is ridiculous. I can't handle this. Hello, everybody. It's Jeb here. What's up? Anyway, I'm here and I'm going to show you guys a cool redstone command block circuit of magicalness that will show you guys exactly how to be the best map makers ever. Alright, so step one. Go to the tutorial world. Boom. Test world. Nothing happened. Alright. So what we got right here is the same setup, except what is that? They're both blank. Incredible. Alright, now we got to fill in the commands. Now, um, uh, this, uh, uh, this entire series right here, not series, but series of steps is, um, uh, kind of fidgety. We're going to start with step two here, which you might believe is, uh, incredibly challenging, but it's not. All you got to do is you got to type in execute into the command, alright? First you got to do it, then you got to type in your target or in most case scenarios at player space you gotta do tilde 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 which is uh, at your location you can do tilde 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 at your location now this is subject to change you can change this wherever and whenever you want this pretty much tells you when to execute the following command alright you can change that you can change this whatever you want freedom of speech here in America or not maybe test for Lock. I think for a person who plays Minecraft 20 hours a day, you know how to spell block, but you know, don't go to school. Now I'm uh, got to do test for block, which is uh, the next command we're going to be doing in this two-part command. We've got a test for block command, and this test for block is going to, yeah, that's right, it's going to test for blocks. Now we're going to tell it to test for blocks beneath you by going tilde, space, tilde, negative one for testing a block beneath you, space, tilde. Boom. And then what box are you going to test for? It's going to test for grass. It's going to test for grass. Flawless. First try. Now I'm just going to make sure that works. Successfully found the block. Alright, there you go. It works. Now right in here we got to do say, troll, or just make it do whatever you do. You can have it say, uh, you can have it do kill. You can have it uh, say, kill. You know, whatever you want. So pretty much it detects, actually, you need to set this chain command to conditional. You set this repeating command to repeat and not conditional. Uh, my bad, I skipped those earlier, but those are mandatory. So pretty much whenever you're on grass, whenever you're not on grass, you'll wait for the kill feed to uh, feed of kill, kill feed literally, to fade away. As you can see, it's no longer a spamming that, but as soon as you jump into the grass, it's super sped up. Now, the reason this is happening is because when you power a command block set to repeat, it runs the command inside of it 20 times a second, which is uh, actually every tick, but 20 times a second. And then right here, you've got your say command, and the reason this is set to conditional is if this test for something is successful, then it's going to power this one. Now, you don't even need to have this redstone block there, but you know I like it just to make sure extra certain something happens. But yeah, you can have say kill, you can have a kill, you can have it do whatever you want in here. You can have it do another test for command just to make sure, see if it all tests out. Like test for I'm on grass, test for I'm next to a command block, then run a say command or whatever. But you know, it's all gotta be, uh, it's all gonna start with a repeat and then chain, and the chain has to be set to conditional. That's absolutely mandatory. And so, um, those two things down, you pretty much have it. But, uh, this can be used in, uh, many different ways. Which brings me on to step three of the tutorial. Which is, uh, not a mandatory thing. You must do, but, you know, I certainly enjoy doing it anyway. Moving on to step three, I've, uh, obstructed this tiny obstacle course, which is, uh, you know, it's 
easy builds because all you gotta do is you gotta jump up here, gotta move over here, and then the speed boost and jump boost, gotta jump onto the pillar. You know, with your jump boost that you get there, you can jump up and jump over here, and you can get the speed boost and jump over that. And you land on the U1 thing, which damages U1. It's, uh, you know, it's fun, fun. I like it. And it, this is a quick and easy build, like, you know, those, those three command blocks only used only use this this many commands which could have been even made even smaller but no I was lazy so um yeah this pretty much concludes this uh redstone command circuit oh yay redstone command circuit uh tutorial thank you for watching please remember to like comment subscribe if you want more tutorials like this or you just like me in general a lot of people do that Anyway, I've been Nathan from the Pix Factory. Not in fact, Jeb. I've been posing as an imposter to an imposter. Ha 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 ha. Thank you for watching and goodbye.